it's important to, to mention the assassination of Shaheed uh, uh, Sheikh Saleh al Aruri. Uh, this again, uh, the American immediately said, oh, no, we have nothing to do with that. It's an Israeli decision. Although this admiral, the spokesman of, of uh, Biden, of Sinai Biden, said nobody should weep on that man. He's, we classified him as a terrorist. He's still, he's an admiral of the United States of America, grown in the America, regards himself as a superpower. And uh, the, maybe he thinks that the sun rises and fall by the, per and, uh, and set by the permission of America. Maybe that's what he believes. Say so we have classified him as a terrorist. Nobody should, should lose any tears on that man. That's what he says from his point of view. Okay, fine. We don't care about your tears. The reality is that we he stressed that we have no, we're not aware about that. We are not involved with that. And also he denied any involvement in the Karman bombing inside uh, uh, Iran. Uh, that's that's most likely an Netanyahu act. Most likely he was motivated by the fact that Hezbollah is obviously shown that, uh, as I commented earlier, that they are a low step. Either they chickened out and they were afraid, or oh, that's my, my uh, that's a that's a minor point of view. This is a, the lesser probability. The higher probability is that from day one, over the last 10, 15 years, they are Munafiq and they're playing the Palestinian card together with Iran. Uh, I have that's 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 was was my point of view over the last 10, 15 years. Although I did not say it publicly that often, but when discussing with, with, with Shia brothers and so on, I also said I don't believe these guys, they are monarchic, they are lying to you. They have they have a sectarian and uh, and Safawi or Iranian agenda. They are not, they don't have an Islamic agenda. They don't care about Islam. They are not. They are, they, they are lying. They are monarchic. I think they're exposed. And Netanyahu smells that. Because, for example, the next campaign of the, the next phase of bombing Gaza was after the miserable speech of the Friday, I think it was four weeks after 7 October or five weeks. That was six weeks. That that speech encouraged him immediately. A few minutes later, he started another bombing coming. Three months, see, told you. And the Shifa hospital issue and the say, told you, this guy is not serious. He, this, he's clearly saying, I'm not going to interfere in what's happening in Gaza. So don't worry about him. You don't need to be worried about him. So... There's an extreme point of view uh, uh, advanced by Sheikh Subh al Tufayli and Ayatollah and Marja in Lebanon, the first Marja, as a matter of fact, because all the uh, Lebanese Shia are either Muqallid of Khamenei, that's the one who joined uh, Hassan Nasrallah, or the one who did not join and did not get involved in Syria, so the Muqallid of Subh al Tufayli and following his fatwa. Subh al Tufayli claimed that what's happening even on the border with Israel. Is, is, is token activity, possibly even um, uh, arranged with Israel in advance. I think this is a bit of extreme, but some of them smell like that. Smell like that. And most likely, you could, you could say this is, this is also taken in board that what, what Trump claimed, that, at, that after assassination of Soleimani, the Iranian could take them say that we have to do something, but we will make it so uh, less painful so empty the places, we will bomb buildings so they are empty and things like that, as much as we can. And that's what exactly what has happened. So it could be something like that, but I think uh, uh, not all of it and considerable amount of activity on the border with Lebanon are also initiated and managed by the local commander and so on, who are not necessarily sellouts or monafic. Maybe, but keep that open for matter of analysis. In any case, as an organization, I think they have exposed al-monafic. 